It's a new perspective on the emotional story of the Titanic. Among the greatest tragedies on the open water, only 700 of the 2,200 aboard survived. Please go into the boat and get saved. I want, please let me stay with you. Director Frank Barnhart wrote the production based on news stories, transcripts from the American and British trials, and signed affidavits from survivors and witnesses. All words spoken will be actual words spoken by eyewitnesses to history. There were over 2,000 people on the ship, so whose stories do you want to, to focus on? Uh, because they're all fascinating, they're all interesting when you get, get down to it. Barnhart's docudrama is presented through the eyes of the storyteller. There are 15 actors in more than 50 roles, including the owner and captain, J. Bruce Ismay. There was no one that was really blamed solely for it. Uh, sinking, but he has a, a big part uh, in the in everything that happened. And the fact that he actually got off and survived where so many other people died has made him like one of the greatest cowards of, you know, the century. <laughs> Students were encouraged to research their characters. One of them, Lady Duff Gordon, was a top clothing designer of the time. It's been, it's been a very enjoyable process. Um, I mean, being able to learn about people that actually existed and having the honor of portraying them. There were four people on the Titanic with Columbus, Ohio as their final destination. Their story, while not in the production, will be included on the playbill. Titanic, a retrospective, will be presented in Nestor Hall Auditorium as a single 90-minute act with no intermission. It runs February 29th through March 3rd at 8 o'clock nightly with an extra 3 p.m. matinee on Thursday, March 1st. Admission is free.